This man travels the world, meeting all of the most important people and spending billions of dollars. In Washington, he is considered the capital's most eligible bachelor and one of the diplomatic corps' most charming men. And yet his face and name are not well known. He is Ardashir Zahidi, Iran's ambassador to the United States. And tonight, Ambassador Zahidi is the subject of our Sunday profile by Irving R. Levine. Hello, hello, hello. How are you? So My wonderful. God, I love the way you arrive. It's a John, Martin, Tom, Martin, we have Bell a beautiful Ike. movie star, John hello. Gavin. Is that an ambassador from... Ambassador? This is not your stereotype, striped yeah. pants, yeah. stiff-necked yeah. ambassador. Yeah. Uh, Did you want to come in? Oh, I darling, that's a I asked you to see here. You oh, have a new house. Nice to see you again. Oh, nice to see you. Very nice. This is something which I have for you coming for the new house. Oh, my angel, you're Instead of a dispatch case, he carries a gift of expensive caviar from Iran to this Hollywood party at Ava Gabor's. I'm too sweet. So I think you should have... Wherever he goes these days, Iran's ambassador is reminded of the high price of his country's oil. Plenty of oil money and a courtly, ingratiating manner have made Ambassador Zahedi a darling of the international jet set. I have you. No laughing matter is Ambassador Zahedi's effectiveness as a diplomat, not least of all because of his closeness to the Shah. The Shah was introduced to his empress when she was still a college student by Ambassador Zahedi. The ambassador was once married to the Shah's daughter. They are divorced, but the Shah and the ambassador remain close friends. They talk often by phone. And when the Arabs cut off oil last year to the American Mediterranean Navy, the ambassador got on the phone at the request of Henry Kissinger to arrange for Iran to refuel the U.S. fleet. Many of the sealed messages carried by courier from the ambassador to the Shah these days concern the ambassador's travels around the United States to check on the delivery of the military aircraft that Iran is buying. Do you want me to sit there? Oh, I love that. Don't worry, I'm not going to fly it. <laughs> One click down gives you Sidewinder, which is a closer missile, and the last click gives you the gun, which is the most close in. Iran is spending $1.9 billion of its oil money for 80 jet fighters from the Grumman Company in New York. This is exactly the same type of configuration as the airplane that would be delivered to the Imperial Iranian Airport. Exactly the same. The way it goes like this is fantastic. Iran is spending five hundred million dollars for two hundred fighters from the Northrop Company in California. And this one would be shipped this week. Stan, you said it's going to deliver Monday. Monday, a pilot will pick it up and fly to Sacramento. Yeah, I see. I'll put our, our flag already on the paint. <laughs> and the ambassador is even looking into the possibility of buying the advanced B-1 bomber, even though only one of the $30 million planes has been built so far. The ambassador is also shopping for a $2 billion satellite system for military and civilian communications in his country. What do you mean by the small economy size? What would be out there? That, that's what little fellow there. Huh? Yeah. How much is that the small economy? <laughs> <laughs> we shall spend as much money as necessary. Uh, we have often been criticized by some of the uh, press or some of the people here in this country or in Europe that we are uh, spending too much. We are buying this or we are buying that. 
at a meeting of an Iranian-American friendship society in Los Angeles. Ambassador Zahedi explained why Iran is spending so much of its oil money for weapons. We cannot just be ignorant and not to uh, spend the money for our defense. And one morning we get up and we find, find out the people in Iran surprised by some attack either from the south, east or the west. Making friends for himself and for his country is a full-time job for Ambassador Zahedi, and Washington diplomats say that no ambassador has better contacts in and outside of the U.S. government. Frequent formal dinner parties at the Iranian embassy provide an opportunity for Ambassador Zahedi to explain his country's policies. At this party, honoring White House Counselor Kenneth Rush, new ambassador to France. The guests included Chief Justice Warren Burger, Attorney General William Saxby, former Secretary of State William Rogers, and White House Counselor Robert Hartman. For most guests at an Iranian embassy party, which may cost anywhere from ten to forty thousand dollars, it is a glittering evening. But to the ambassador from Iran, it is all part of a serious job. I hope you like it. Oh. I think a good diplomat, it would be somebody who should really work about 18, 19 hours a day. After the party is finished, sometimes you have to go back to your office and work another hour or so. It's not an easy job to do. Uh, the diplomat of today, if he is alert, if he is working hard, he can be helpful for his country, he can be helpful for the relation of his country and the host country, and he could be proud of it. <laughs> so uh, I enjoy it and I love it. <laughs> 